Hi viewers, welcome to Alama Solution. Today we are going to see about PSO and face MPPT for a grid connected TV system. So this is a simulation model we created for a PSO and face MPPT controlled grid connected TV system. So this model consists of PV array and then PV inverter and then coupling inductor and then it have grid and then it have load local load okay and this inverter right inverter going to be controlled by means of a PSO tuned anti MPPT and the voltage and current control logic okay so the PV panel rating is uh, here you can see that the single panel rating is 213.5 watts okay so it is having 18 18 parallel string and a single string having 25 panel in series so it can generate maximum around 96 kilowatts okay so here you can see that uh, for in order to control this inverter so it is known as a single stage converter so that means single stage conversion of uh, a grid connected PV system okay so in order to control this uh, this inverter right so we go with uh, a voltage control and current control so in order to go with the voltage control right here we are going to use ANFIS MPPT that means ANFIS MPPT is going to be uh, trained by means of uh, uh, PSO right so it going to be received two input uh, irradiation temperature so the output will be reference voltage okay so this reference voltage going to be uh, going to be combined with the this reference voltage, this reference voltage and it is going to be compared with the DC link voltage, right? So, this reference voltage should be made across this uh, uh, DC link. So, then only we can extract the maximum power from the PV panel, okay? So, here you can see that that VDC reference and uh, the VDC will be compared here and then when we process via PA controller, so it will be generated the, the DC link current, okay? and another thing we need to have load current right here we are using load right so that load current should be uh, you have to measure right so that load current uh, going to be measured by means of iso fll okay frequency lock loop right so for that here we are measuring the load current right so here we are measuring load current so based upon load current we have to calculate ilva ildb and then here we are calculating ILDC okay by using that ISO FLL after by using that IL, ILDA, ILDB and ILDC so next you have to calculate IL right so this is a calculation for IL right by using ISO FLL okay so this is ISO FLL for a single phase so for each, each phase you have to calculate that term. Uh, direct axis component okay so after calculating the direct common axis and uh, that mean detail current detail so next you have to calculate the IL okay so for in order to calculate IL we need to calculate UPA UP, UPB and UPC right so here you can calculate the detail so based upon the line to line voltage you have to calculate phase voltage so after calculating phase voltage you have to calculate the terminal voltage of the grid okay and then so based upon the uh, phase voltage and terminal voltage you have to calculate that unit vector voltage right that means upa upb and then upc okay so this will be going to be used for uh, calculating that il value right so this il will be going to be used to here right so another current I think but the load current right so next you have to calculate the another thing so that mean uh, source current right so here source will be PV right so the PV current will be calculated by means of uh, uh, here you can see that right we are measuring the power of PV just you have to multiply voltage and current right just you have to multiply that voltage and current so finally you will get PM, PM nothing but the PV power so based upon the TPM under uh, terminal voltage right grid voltage here we are calculating the source voltage 
so here you are uh, taking the source voltage and going to subtract it with the load voltage and then deceiling current the remaining current will be going for a grid okay that means we are subtracting this load current and then deceiling current with the source current okay so then we have excess current right excess power so that power will be sent to grid okay so this is the logic in this control right so here you will get the reference current okay reference current for uh, supplying current to the uh, grid okay so this going to be multiplied with the unit vector template okay from that uh, iso fler concept and then some uh, voltage concept right that means you have to take that uh, unit vector template and going to be multiplied with the the reference current and then reference going to be current going to be compared with the this inverter current okay so this one and then finally you will get uh, uh, the error current the error current will be processed via this uh, hysteresis controller so this hysteresis controller will be generate the pulse okay so the pulse going to be used that means this pulse going to be uh, you have to take complement right so because it is having 6 igbt so 3 will be used for control this one and 3 will be used for control this three okay so based upon the current reference from this control logic right the inverter will be controlled right so and then here the pso and that means PSO is to for train the end phase. So here already we have the data. So this is a coding for a PSO, right? For training of training of end phase. Okay. So further we have to provide the data. So the data will be taken from the uh, this PV data dot mat, right? And then <coughs> it can be trained for a at 10 iteration. So once you execute this uh, program, right? So this other program is to for that to train that. Uh, and fish okay so once you execute this program right the pso will be start uh, executing and then uh, you will get final first inference system okay after completion of iteration so these are the figure right figure detail report that the training data and then error data and mean square error and then so the the mean uh, that relation between target and output right so both are having Super to each other, right? So, so after executing this program, we will get the, the fuzzy inference system here, right? So, this is a FIS file, right? FIS file generated from that uh, PSO training of fine fish. So, this FIS file can be used for uh, providing that uh, feed the detail here, right? So, here we are using that concept PSO to time fish MBPT and then for extracting the maximum power from the P panel, right? And then here you can see that. Here we are measuring the uh, irradiation temperature and then this is PV voltage, this PV current and then this is PV power, okay. And then this is used for measuring the uh, grid voltage and grid current, okay, grid voltage and grid current. And this one used to for measuring the power sent to the grid, okay, power sent to the grid. And this is inverter voltage and current and this is power sent to send from the uh, PV inverter okay so when you you can examine this result right so for uh, 1000 watts per meter square from uh, 0 to 2 second right uh, you can see that uh, we are getting maximum power around we are getting around uh, 95.8 kilowatt right okay so we are getting the maximum power from the PV panel and also you can see here during that time right the voltage will be maintained around uh, 725 volt right and after two second right the irradiation change from 1000 to 500 so because of that the voltage of the pv is maintained at again is maintained around 725 and then here you can see that that uh, pv power right so pv power is maintained around uh, 4.85 sorry 48.5 kilowatts okay so because the irradiation is uh, comes down to 500 right so it generated in pv will generate only 50 percentage of the total power so that's why we are getting around 48.5 kilowatts okay so this is a variation of uh, uh, pv current uh, according with the change in irradiation condition okay and also so here you can see that the inverter voltage in current so inverter voltage is maintained at uh, uh, 230 volt 
phase voltage right and then you can see that this is the grid uh, the inverter current so for uh, 1000 watts per meter square the current value is around 200 amps peak right so for 500 watts per meter square the current peak value is around 100 100 amps right 100 amps peak current right so again that uh, irritation change from 500 to 1000 then current values comes to 200 amps peak okay and then here you can see that so this is a grid a grid current so initially you can see that you are getting around uh, around 95 amps peak right because uh, here we are using a uh, load right so load is uh, 50 kilowatts right so whatever power generating from the pv so that will be given to 50 kilowatt right that will be 50 kilowatt load the remaining power will be going, uh, going to send to grid so that's why you are seeing that uh, that uh, grid current right so here you can see that the inverter current is 200 amps right so here 200 amps but grid current is around the uh, around 96 amps peak right so that means it is equivalent to the uh, around 40 6 kilowatts right so the grid receiving the remaining power from the pv right so whatever power is sent to the load right uh, the remaining power is 46 kilowatts so that going to be sent to grid so next you can see that right uh, when the when irradiation change to 500 watts per meter square right the inverter current is changed to around 100 amps peak right so that's why that uh, grid current goes to around nearer to zero so why means uh, this power that means PV inverter power will be used to for supply the uh, local load and then there is no excess power in the PV so that's why it goes to zero okay so that can be seen from the power graph okay see here you can see that so for 1000 watts per meter square the power around 96 kilowatts right so 50 kilowatt is sent to the load the remaining power will be sent to grid okay so now you can see that from 2 to 4 second right and the pv inverter power is around 50 kilowatts so that will be used for supplying the local load right so there is no power excess power in the pv side so that's why that grid current is comes to zero okay so again that pv power increase to 96 kilowatts so that's why grid power increase to around 46 kilowatts because the 50 kilowatt will be supplied to the local load and then excess power will be sent to the grid okay so here you can see that as per the result of this uh, maximum power of pv is right so it is effectively extracted by means of pso tuned and pcmp beating and also uh, water power is generated from the pv that will be sent to the uh, grid as well as supplied to the load okay so this is the working of this model thanks for watching our videos Kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.